Welcome to my music and movies channel. Today we will present the biography and filmography of C. L. U. Gulager. C. L. U. Gulager, 1928-2022. C. L. U. Gulager was born William Martin Gulager in Holdenville, Hughes County, Oklahoma. His nickname was given to him by his father for the CLUCLU birds, known in English as Martins, like his middle name, that were nesting at the Gulager home at the time CLU was born. He grew up on his uncle's ranch as a cowhand and when he was old enough he joined the United States Marine Corps for a stint from 1946 to 1948. He got the acting bug being in army plays so when he left he used the GI Bill of Rights to study acting. During this time he met his wife, actress Miriam Bird Nethery. They had two children together John, born in 1957, and Tom, born 1965. He was married over 50 years until his wife passed away in 2003 from cancer. CLU's career started off as bit parts on popular Western shows usually playing the heavy. Shows like Wanted Dead or Alive, Have Gun Will Travel, Laramie, Riverboat. He scored big with The Untouchables as Mad Dog Call, which led to him being offered the role of Billy the Kid on The Tall Man from 1960 to 1962, which also starred Barry Sullivan as Pat Garrett. The show was pulled after two seasons by Congress because they didn't like the idea that kids were seeing the outlaw Billy the Kid as a hero. CLU's next big break was playing Deputy Emmett Riker on The Virginian from 1964 to 1968. During this time he also fared very well as Lee Marvin's sidekick in the 1964 TV film The Killers, which was considered too violent for TV so it went to theaters. Having been burned out being a TV star he tried to break into films, mostly as a character actor. His standout films were The Last Picture Show, 1971, Plain. Ellen Burstyn's Lover, MCQ, 1974, with John Wayne and A Force of One, 1979, with Chuck Norris, with whom he would work in the 1990s on Walker, Texas Ranger. CLU was also cast in San Francisco International Airport, with Lloyd Bridges, which failed big time. Throughout the 70s and 80s he was in almost every show around, playing bit parts. Then the unthinkable happened, he found a second career as a horror film actor, he followed the footsteps of other TV actors who were stuck in TV hell, like his co-star from The Virginian, Doug McClure, and Christopher George. Both of them in late 70s and early 80s found new careers in B-movies and late-night horror films. CLU finally got a lead part in Dan O. Bannon's cult classic The Return of the Living Dead, 1985. He also was in A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, Freddy's Revenge, 1985. Throughout the 80s and 90s he would appear in TV and in the occasional horror flick. In 2005 he started acting in his son's horror films The Feasts Movies and Piranha DD in his 80s. Not letting age get in his way, he has been a horror fan favorite and still shows up at conventions at almost 90 now. You can say one thing about CLU, what a diverse career it has been for this awesome cowboy. The Filmography of CLU Gulliger, Some of His Movies The Killers of 1964 Winning of 1969 the Last Picture Show of 1971. Molly and Lawless of 1972. The Glass House of 1972. Call to Danger of 1973. MCQ of 1974. Hit Lady of 1974. Gangster Filmin of 1974. Houston, We've Got a Problem of 1974. The Other Side of Midnight of 1977. A Question of Love of 1978 A Force of One of 1978 Skyward of 1980 Chattanooga Choo Choo of 1984 The Initiation of 1984 Into the Night of 1985 Prime Risk Paul Minsky of 1985 The Return of the Living Dead of 1985, C.L.U. Gulliger as Burt Wilson The plot of this movie refers to when Foreman Frank, character played by James Karen, shows new employee Freddy, character played by Tom Matthews, a secret military experiment in a supply warehouse, the two klutzes accidentally release a gas that reanimates corpses into flesh-eating zombies. As the epidemic spreads throughout Louisville, Kentucky, and the creatures satisfy their hunger in gory and outlandish ways, Frank and Freddy fight to survive with the help of their boss, 
character played by C.L.U. Gulliger, and a mysterious mortician, character played by Don Kalfa. Great actors work in this movie like, John Philbin, Jewel Shepard, Miguel A. and Nunez Jr., Brian Peck and the beautiful Beverly Randolph and Linnea Quigley. In my personal opinion of this movie, apart from the fear of seeing a zombie movie because of what is obviously going to happen, but it is not known how it is going to happen, this movie surprised me, good plot, a lot of suspense, good script, a lot of comedy without neglecting the terror, detail that in many current movies they don't know how to manage, good music and, a classic that should be remembered throughout human history. A Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge of 1985, C.L.U. Gulliger as Mr. Walsh, Ken Walsh. A Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge is a 1985 American supernatural slasher film directed by Jack Shoulder and written by David Choskin. It stars Mark Patton, Kim Myers, Robert Englund as Freddy Krueger, C.L.U. Gulliger and Robert Rusler. It is the second installment in the A Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. The film follows Jesse Walsh by Mark Patton, a teenager who begins having recurring nightmares about Freddy Krueger after moving into the former home of Nancy Thompson from the first film. C.L.U. Gulliger and Hope Lang have some good moments as Jesse's parents. In my personal opinion of this movie, I saw it when I was a child and it scared me enough, so much so that I was afraid of everyone who had a hat and the windows of my house were closed after 7 at night. This movie is very good, so much so that it is very original compared to the other stories of the saga and the performances of all its actors were very natural and excellent. Bridge Across Time of 1985 Hunter's Blood of 1986 From a Whisper to a Scream of 1987 The Hidden of 1987 Summer Heat of 1987 Tapeheads of 1988 I'm Gonna Get You Sucka of 1988 Uninvited of 1988. The Willies of 1990. My Heroes Have Always Been Cowboys of 1991. Eddie Presley of 1992. In the Line of Duty, Ambush in Waco of 1993. Puppet Master 5, The Final Chapter of 1994. Feast of 2005. Vic of 2006. Feast 2, Sloppy Seconds of 2008. Feast 3, the Happy Finish of 2009 Piranha 3D of 2012 Tangerine of 2015 Blue Jay of 2016 Once Upon a Time in Hollywood of 2019, C.L.U. Gulliger as bookstore owner in his final film role, Quentin Tarantino's film, winner of two Oscars plus eight nominations. Scream, Queen My Nightmare on Elm Street of 2019 C.L.U. Gulliger as himself, a documentary film. Scream, Queen. My Nightmare on Elm Street of 2019 is a 2019 American documentary film directed by Roman Chimienti and Tyler. Jensen. It examines the legacy of A Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, the second installment in the A Nightmare on Elm Street film series, and the life of the film's lead actor, Mark Patton. C.L.U. Gulliger in some of his television series. The United States Steel Hour of 1956. Goodyear Playhouse of 1956. Studio One in Hollywood of 1957. The Alcoa Hour of 1957. Black Saddle of 1959. Playhouse 90 of 1959. Westinghouse Desilu Playhouse of 1959. Laramie of 1959. The Untouchables of 1959. Wanted Dead or Alive of 1959. Alfred Hitchcock Presence of 1959-1960. The Tall Man of 1960-1962. The Alfred Hitchcock Hour of 1962. The FBI of 1971, C.L.U. Gulliger as Lyle Shernick in two episodes. Bonanza of 1972, C.L.U. Gulliger as Billy Brenner in the episode, Stallion. Hawaii 5 of 1972 to 1976, C.L.U. Gulliger as Arthur Lambert and Jack Gully in two episodes. Kung Fu of 1973, C.L.U. Gulliger as Sheriff Rutledge in the episode, Blood Brother. Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color of 1973, C.L.U. Gulliger as Keith Rayner in the mystery in Dracula's Castle Part 1 and 2. Shaft of 1974, 
C.L.U. Gulliger as Richard Quayle in the episode, The Murder Machine. Falcon Crest of 1981, C.L.U. Gulliger as Chase Gioberti in the episode, Unaired Pilot. Chips of 1982, C.L.U. Gulliger as Stoller in the episode, The Game of War. Ottoman of 1983, C.L.U. Gulliger as Rudolf Brock in the episode, The Great Pretender. Knight Rider of 1985, C.L.U. Gulliger as Eugene Hansen in the episode, Buy Out? Airwolf of 1986, C.L.U. Gulliger as Cullen Dixon in the episode, Day of Jeopardy. Magnum, P.I. of 1986, C.L.U. Gulliger as Theo Wolf in the episode, Way of the Stalking Horse. North and South of 1986 The Book 2, C.L.U. Gulliger as the General Philip Henry Sheridan. MacGyver of 1988, C.L.U. Gulliger as Walt Kirby in the episode, Thin Ice. Kung Fu, The Legend Continues of 1995, C.L.U. Gulliger as Deputy Clay Harden in the episode, Gunfighters. Walker, Texas Ranger of 1995, C.L.U. Gulliger as Duke Jameson in the episode, Final Justice. Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman of 1996, C.L.U. Gulliger as Art McKendrick in the episode, Medicine Man. Awards and Nominations of C.L.U. Gulliger The Virginian, TV series, 1966, Bronze Wrangler Award for Best Fictional Television Drama Ensemble Cast A Day with the Boys, 1969, Director, Short Film, Nominated Palme d'Or, Can Film Festival, Best Short Film Hunter's Blood, 1986, Nominated Saturn Award, Best Supporting Actor Gulliger is one of several Oklahoma Walk of Fame members represented on medallions in front of Tulsa's Circle Cinema. So far the biography of this great actor. Follow me on my channel Music and Movies, subscribe, like my videos, activate the bell and see you in a next video. Subscribe. Like my videos. Activate the bell.